metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal parts about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal parts about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Sunbaked and bored friends, listen! Hmm? To any and all who wish they were skiing through a winter wonderland right now, your wish is granted! Skiing, snowboarding, anything you like! Plus, as an added bonus, see the Northern Lights! A wondrous alpine vacation here on our cozy island will recharge your batteries and give you all the feels! That sounds like a fantastic idea! Just beautiful. <laughs> Shame that I'm too busy to stick around to frolic. My loss. But I'll be back in a week to pick up all your frosty butts. You should stay, my hard-working friend. Look at that snow. Oh, well, farewell. You will be missed, my friend. So, snow bunnies, both figurative and literal, first we should check in at the hotel. The games and fun will have to wait for a bit. Here we are! Ah! When they said all the feels, I guess they meant terror too. What is going on? Relax and enjoy our state-of-the-art modern facility. <laughs> Two thousand and zero. This has been in that mailbox for 15 plus years. Oh, that's phenomenal. <sighs> Ooh, kind of cold, right? Uh, uh, I wish I wore a sweater. You are a sweater. It would seem that this place doesn't have power. Hey! I think I found something to eat! <laughs> so at least we aren't going to starve. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Instead, we'll freeze to death. <laughs> it tastes like it's been frozen in a can for decades. I just wish we had a way to heat it up. <laughs> Nothing. Electricity? No. Nothing we can burn. No one would just speak of in this entire building. Everything's made of metal or plastic. Uh, it's a week until Pin comes to pick us up. We aren't going to make it that long. 
My frozen darling, desperate friends, we are highly civilized creatures. Surely we can find a more advanced solution than just burning some chairs. Right, since all the chairs are made of iron, Einstein. More likely they're made of aluminum, but it doesn't matter. I am trying to raise the subject of alternative energy sources. Goodness, what energy sources? Our most common energy sources are oil, gas, and coal. But experience has taught us that there is not an unlimited supply of these resources. Now people look for different or alternative energy sources. Energy is everywhere. You just need to learn to harness it. Paying attention to natural processes is a great place to start. For example, we know that the moon and the sun pull on the water that fills our seas and oceans. That is why ocean water levels get higher for some time and then get lower again two or four times a day. You can collect the energy of regularly moving water flowing from one side to another with the tides, if you put the blades of a special tide generator into it. Um, all right. But all the water around here is frozen. That was merely one example. We could try harnessing energy from, uh, um, from the wind. <laughs> People have been using wind energy for hundreds of years. Windmills are mills powered by the wind. But then we forgot about that when we started using coal, then oil to put steam and combustion engines in motion. Wind generators work basically the same way as windmills. Wind turns the blades, but the generated energy isn't used to make flour. It is transformed into electricity. Aha! Well, thank goodness the wind isn't frozen. Ah! It works! Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, not gonna freeze! <laughs> Wind can't freeze, can it, guys? Come on, just turn. Hey, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's not as cold as it could be, right? <sighs> How is it possible that the sun is shining that brightly without being warm at all? Of course, dear companions. The sun! Why, it's one of the greatest sources of energy! The cold won't prevent us from transforming the sun's light into electricity! Sunlight can be turned into electricity with the help of silica plates. When light reaches the silica plate, it hits the electrons in the plate's atoms. When hit, the electrons will bounce off each other, moving along the wire in the same direction. This results in an electrical current. We need to get these things installed. Looks like it gets dark early here. Oh, mud! How could I have forgotten? Forgotten what? This far north, the nights last longer. Where we are, the darkness is going to last, um, three days. Holy carrot! <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel my feet at all. <laughs> Wish I couldn't smell them. It'll be dark soon. <laughs> uh, is the plan really that we just sit here in the dark until the end of the polar night? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll be a sheepsicle long before then. <laughs> there isn't very much time. Let's do this. 
goodness! We need to get this done! The top layer of ground will be frozen soon! Have you lost your mind or something? What makes you think that the ground will be warm? Huh? Well, it's better than just doing nothing. A slim chance is better than having no darn chance at all. Dig on, Daco. <laughs> uh, uh, that's right! This could be it! How we all finally save ourselves! By drawing upon the energy of the planet itself, we can harness its warmth and use that energy to produce power! Earth's warmth is an endless energy source. Even during the coldest winters, its temperature is above zero at a depth of more than one meter. Our planet is very hot inside, like the sun. Earth's crust is heated from inside. Chico, a little help? I've got a question. First, we all tried to harness the power that comes from the wind. Now the wind's gone. Then we tried for the power that comes out of the sun. And now the sun's gone as well. What's going to happen to the planet when we try to use it? It's going to warm us up! Keep it up. Keep it up! We're doing well, my friends! We've almost reached the desired depth! We're practically there! Yeah! It gets warmer the farther we get! But it won't be like that for long, once it's exposed to the freezing winter air. No, not at all! We'll bury the vessel underground where it's warmer, then circulate water through it, and the water will collect some of the heat! And assuming that nothing goes wrong, it'll be nice and toasty in no time! In the depths of the Earth, we place the vessel, which contains two pipes. One pipe carries water into the vessel. The other one carries it out. The hot water is conducted through the heating radiator on the surface. Oh my goodness, look! It's the Northern Lights! Huh? Hey. <sighs> so, looks like you had a nice relaxing week. I hope that I'm not too late. <sighs> Punctual is always my dear, dependable friend. Of course, I wouldn't have minded you being early this one time. 